take place at Radnor High School. The Senior Musical opens this weekend. Hello, welcome to this week's edition of New Center 16. I'm Sean Kasser. And I'm Lisa Berger. We'll have those stories and more later in the show. But topping the Radnor beat this week, on Friday, May 16th, the senior class of Radnor High School got on their good foot at this year's senior prom. The prom took place at the Ben Franklin Plaza, otherwise known as the Ballroom at the Ben Franklin. DJ's JV Entertainment thrilled the crowd with such classics as It's Raining Men and Dancing Queen, while throwing in new-age hip-hop hop, such as In the Club. Over 300 students and faculty attended this momentous event, including New Center 16's producer, Nikki Comstock. The festivities continued after the prom at Radnor High School's annual post-prom party, located at the Upper Main Line YMCA. The celebration was sponsored by the post-prom committee, which involves mostly parents of Radnor High School students. Students spent the night winning prizes, playing games, and partying until they dropped. A good time was had by all. On Monday, May 12th, the socially conscious students of Radnor assembled for the second annual Oxfam Hunger Banquet. Students paid $5 to participate in the event, which benefited Oxfam International. Everyone drew a lottery ticket that indicated an income class. The majority of participants drew lower class and ate a small portion of rice on the floor. Several students drew middle class and therefore received beans in addition to the rice. Only three upper class income earners were treated to the gourmet meal. The banquet was a huge success, raising awareness and funds for a worthy cause. And all in all, a good time was had by all. May 13th, 2003 was the date of Mr. Balk's final game. Mr. Balk has been Radnor High School's baseball coach for many years, but after this season he will be retiring from work. Before the game began, there was a special ceremony held for Mr. Balk. About 150 people who had been touched by him from all across the country came to see the special game. Even though Radnor lost to Ridley, it was a special time for all. The game went into a whopping 11 innings before Ridley took the game. After the game, a special dinner was held in the cafeteria for Mr. Balk, where everyone could say something to the departing coach. In the end, a good time was had by all. Recently, a plaque was dedicated for former Radnor student William Strauss, who passed away in February of 2002. William attended Radnor as part of the Gateways program. He was known for a smile that could light up the room and the great positive impact on those whose lives he touched. William graduated from Radnor High School in June of 2001. Radnor's class of 2004 and their sponsors, Mr. Wood and Dr. Molman, have dedicated this plaque along with the tree where it stands to the memory of William Strauss. In a late night meeting held by the Radnor commissioners, a decision was made as to the fate of the Villanova Skating Center. In a 7-0 vote, it was decided that Plan 1, also known as Revision 7, would take effect. This means that the current skating center will be demolished and a three-story office building will be erected in its place. While many residents are not happy with the outcome due to added traffic and a possible loss of property value, many feel that the board handled this touchy subject professionally. More detailed plans will follow as Radnor's Recreational Incorporation, the party presenting the plan, goes before the Planning Commission. In addition to the new building, traffic patterns and parking spaces will be altered to better handle the congestion already in place near the Blue Route. Stay tuned to New Center 16 for any upcoming details about the situation. Don't touch that dial. Marshall, so what if my mom dresses me Fleming, will be in next with this week's sports. Hi, I'm David Hasselhoff. You know, while portraying a lifeguard on the hit series Baywatch, you've probably seen me perform CPR more than a dozen times. By learning CPR, each of us have the ability to save the life of a loved one or someone who may be suffering from a heart attack or some other kind of trauma. Please call the American Heart Association to find out where CPR classes are being held in your town. Learn CPR, family affair. Think you'll never be in an emergency? Think again. Last year, 100 million people were admitted to emergency rooms. If you're ever in a life-threatening situation and have a pre-existing medical condition, it's vital we know about it. Medic Alert delivers this information in seconds. Help us help you by wearing the Medic Alert emblem. Call now for free information. Uh, oh, hi. Welcome back to this week's edition of News Center 16. I'm Sean Kasser. I'm Marshall, so what if my mother dresses me Fleming, is in with this week's sport. Marshall? Sean, at least I don't wear footy pajamas. I don't wear footy pajamas. 
Jim Balk had his last game of his half-century career as a baseball coach on Tuesday, May 13th at home against Ridley. Radner put up a good fight but lost in extra innings. Radner ended their season 8-10. and 10. A few days before Mr. Balk's last game, senior pitcher Brian Taylor threw a no-hitter, the first one in the history of Radner. On Tuesday, May 27th, Radner Boys Lacrosse went to the state finals for Final Four tournament. They won and play Ridney, Ridley Friday, May 30th in the Pennsylvania State Finals. Good luck to Coach Buzza and the rest of the team for the game. Now back to you, Lisa. What? Why isn't anyone talking? All right. Look, Marshall, you're a great anchor. But you just totally <laughs> forgot about the girls' track team. The 4x8 girls track team finished 6th in the state, and Sam Dolph finished 7th in the state for the 800. Well, thanks, Marshall. Last week, Radnor High School students voted to elect their next year's student government. Voting took place on Wednesday and Thursday of last week for the sophomore and all-school elections, while the junior and freshman elections took place the same days of the previous week. Something of a controversy has arisen over the outcome of the all-school elections in which students overseeing voting attempted to sway opinions at the last minute and voting had to be redone. Because of this, the final results are not in for executive director. But the results are in for class-specific positions. The freshman class elected Tim Shaughnessy as president and Rich Wood as vice president. Sophomores elected Hillary Bridges and Alex Choi as president and vice president, respectively. Finally, juniors elected Joey Mahady as president and Dave Kwan vice president. On Wednesday, May 21st, Radnor High School's intermediate and advanced theater classes, including my co-anchor Lisa Berger, performed Just a Local Revolution in Carpenters Hall, a historical building in Philadelphia. Richard Dupre wrote the, wrote the play, which was Radnor Actors Workshop's fall production last year and covers the Revolutionary War from start to finish. Carpenters Hall is of great historical significance. It was a home to the First Continental Congress and Ben Franklin's Library Company, as well as served as other notable historical events. The production was a great success, and the students are grateful for this exciting opportunity. Wow, Lisa, I sure am tired. Me too. What a coincidence. Yeah, that senior musical practice went really late last night. But it was the last one before this week's opening. The highly anticipated senior musical has finally arrived. You Haven't Changed a Bit debuts this Friday at 8 p.m. and continues Saturday and Sunday, both at 8 p.m. The first act of the musical takes place at a coffee house where the high school reunion committee is planning Ronan's high school 10-year reunion. The second act takes to the actual reunion where we see who has and hasn't changed a bit. This musical comedy is fun for all ages, so be sure to come out. Tickets are $10 and performances are held at the Radnor High School Auditorium. See you there. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's edition of New Center 16. For Marshy Marshall and all of us here at New Center 16, I'm Sean Kasser. And I'm Lisa Berger. Be sure to join us next week for our last episode of the school year.